Hi, welcome to Cards by Kendra. Today I'm sharing a quick and easy Halloween card featuring the Trick or Treat stamps from Simon Hurley Create. This is part of my Halloween video series. This is my third video, so if you haven't watched the others, take a look at the card um, above and you can check those out. So let's jump right in. I'm starting with a piece of stark white cardstock by Simon Hurley and I'm also using Simon Hurley's inks. I'm rubbing the fake plant down onto my glass mat directly because I'm trying to create a scene here. So I want the, the grass to be the bottom at the bottom. And now I'm rubbing some clear skies and then I'll add the Remember Me, which is a little bit darker right above it. So what I'm doing here is adding the ink so that I can spray it with some water in order to create a watercolor wash background. Now I did try doing this with some watercolor paper and I did not like how it turned out. But I recently watched Simon Hurley's video and he said that to use the stark white cardstock and I agree it definitely works a lot better. So I'm going to be spraying this a little bit, just a little bit with some water. Now I tried this before and I put too much water and I completely soaked my cardstock. So here I'm just laying that down on top and um, as you'll see it kind of there's a couple of places that it missed but I just kind of drug it back through and it ended up looking pretty cool. Okay so what I'm doing now is I'm taking the stamp that says have a spooktacular day and I am inking that up using a smaller version of the tuxedo black memento ink and I'm stamping this down with my acrylic block if you watched my first video I used the stamp set before and I had all of these stamps already cut out from the first video I did them all at once and so I went ahead and stamped my mummy bear and colored it with Copic markers I'm listing all of the supplies that I'm using to make this card in the description box below with the exception of this frame die that I have that I have no idea where I got it from. Um, I made a big mistake. I took all of my dies out of the packaging and I put them on magnetic sheets and I didn't save the packaging. So I don't know where this rectangular frame die is from. So if you recognize it, please let me know in the comments below so I can make a note. So here I'm just stamping out the pumpkin. There's a two-step stamp in the stamp set. So I'm using the colored part first and I'm using Guppy ink from Simon Hurley. I ended up doing this twice because I wanted to make it a little bit darker. And so now I've just inked up the outline of the pumpkin in black and I'm now stamping the face onto the pumpkin. So now to assemble the card, I am gluing the piece of black and white gingham that I cut out of that frame down directly down on my watercolor background. And it was a little flimsy because it was actually just paper. So I added a thicker piece of black cardstock to the back of that. I really could have just left it alone. At first I was thinking I was gonna pop this up using some foam strips, but then I decided just to keep it flat. And I thought it needed a little bit of black just to make that stand out. So I've glued the orange directly onto my card base. And I guess I somehow lost the footage of that part. But anyway, it's a top folding card base. I glued the black piece down and then I glued this on top. And now I'm just attaching my sentiment using some Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive Glue. This is my favorite liquid glue. And then I'm using the 3D foam squares to pop up the mummy and the pumpkin. For the finishing touches, I'm using Ranger Glossy Accents and I'm adding that to the bear's eyes and his nose and also to the pumpkin. And this finishes up my card for today. I hope you like it. Don't forget to check out my other Halloween videos. 
I will list them in the description box below if you're interested. You can also visit me on my website, cardsbykendra.com, as well as Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest at Cards by Kendra. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch this video and have a wonderful day.